Hello, my friends. I hope you're doing well. Hope you've been keeping up with your schoolwork. I hope you've been making a ton of awesome artwork. I can't wait to see what you've made when we're back together again. I'm here today to read this book to you, Art Dog. But I also have some news for you. I know a lot of you have been counting down to this Friday to know whether I'm having a baby boy or girl. And I didn't wanna make you wait until we see each other again. So I thought I could post on here because I miss you and I just wanted to talk to you. So the big reveal, my baby is a boy, it's a boy. Who guessed boy? If you guessed boy and you knew it, you're a go-getter. I thought it was a girl, but I was wrong. So there's some exciting news some happy news and I can't wait to celebrate when we're together again and let's get started with reading the book Art Dog by Thatcher Hurd. So it was in the art room so it's a little messy. Arthur Dog was a guard at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. He liked his job. He liked guarding the paintings by Vincent van Dogh, Pablo Padoodle, and Leonardo da Vinci, which was Arthur's favorite painter. Or was it Henry Matisse? Arthur couldn't decide. At night, Arthur came home to his little apartment on West 17th Street, made himself dinner, and read until it was time for bed. Arthur led a quiet life. He seldom went out, sound familiar, except on nights when the moon was full. On those nights, Arthur's eyes grew bright and his fur seemed to glisten. He would take out a box he kept in his closet put on a hat and mask and tiptoe down the back stairs into the streets of Dogopolis. He crept down an alley and when he was sure no one was around, he unlocked the box and took out paints and brushes. He painted a slash of lightning, a splash of sunshine, and dozens of glowing lights in the night. He painted monsters 10 feet tall with tails the size of houses, frogs ready to hop over skyscrapers. When he was finished, he crept home a dog alone wondering if anyone noticed his paintings. No one saw him paint or sign his paintings with a splat of his tail and the name Art Dog. No one knew who Art Dog really was. Until one night at the museum, crash, a window was broken. A door was busted out. Ring! The alarm went off and footsteps clattered down the, down the alley behind the museum. <gasps> the police screeched to the scene of the crime. The director of the museum was not far behind. Yikes! The Mona Wolf was gone, cried the museum director. Look what they left instead of Leonardo da Vinci. Is this art? It looks like Mona Lulu to me, said the chief of police. The paint's still wet, said the museum director. Find me the culprit, barked chief, chief of police. They nabbed the first dog they found in the alley. His eyes had a certain glow to them. His fur seemed to glisten in the moonlight. 
He also had a paintbrush in his paw. Book him, said the police. They threw him in jail. But when no one was looking, he pulled out a brush and a paint tube and he painted a ladder. He climbed up the ladder and where there were bars, he painted a window and jumped down. Back onto the streets of Dagopolis. Then he put his nose in the air. What was he sniffing? Hmm. Suddenly, he took out his brush and his paints. Zip, splash, moosh. He painted himself a what's this like, brush mobile with his name on the side. He whizzed over to the Acme Paint Factory to fill up his tank. Then he roared off into the night over highways and bridges through the park and past the ballet, leaving a trail of paint behind him as he went. He slammed on the brakes in front of a deserted warehouse. He sniffed and tiptoed. He looked inside. Three nasty looking mutts were getting ready to ship something to a distant port. He looked closer. It was the Mona. Yikes! The mutts turned around. Hey, what are you doing here? said the biggest mutt. Gosh, I, uh, I must have made a wrong turn, said Art Dog. You can say that again, said the mutts. It looked like big trouble for Art Dog. There was only one thing left to do. Paint! En garde, touche! What a masterpiece! Wow! said the chief of police as he arrived with the museum director. How did you know where the Mona was? Art Dog wiggled his nose. I can smell art a mile away. The director of the museum said, I don't know how to thank you, Mr. Art Dog, said Art Dog, pointing to his brush mobile. Art Dog, I like the way you paint. How about a show in the museum? Sure thing, said Art Dog as he sped away in his brush mobile. Soon, it was the night for Art Dog's show at the Dogopolis Museum of Art. Everyone stood around and sipped root beer as they waited to meet Art Dog and see his paintings. But where was he? Where were his paintings? And for that matter, wondered the museum director, where's Arthur? He should be on the job tonight. Suddenly, there was a sound. Everyone rushed outside just in time to see Art Dog, high in the sky, finishing his masterpiece, City Rhapsody. Everyone was amazed and speechless. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book. If you want to share any of your masterpieces, send them to me on Class Dojo, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.